Hi, it's Chris. It's another really hot and humid day. I should probably be cutting the lawn, but I'm taking a break. I've been building a lot of these power stations uh, in my spare time, and this is one that I particularly one like. It uses the uh, the six charger supercharger to uh, make both a uh, AC inverter and a DC power socket. And several of my viewers have said, well, why can't I do that with the uh, the uh, 40 volt system. So that's what I'm gonna try to do, but I'm gonna also try to make it so I can still use it as a charger. This charger is the OP407 VNM model. To open the charger up, it looks like there's eight T20 security screws. So we'll get those removed. The two sides of the unit open up and you can see the leads here for each of the charging ports. Got a cooling fan here. There are three battery connection areas and each one has three T10 screws that have to be removed. Once the screws have been removed, you can take the connector out and we're going to solder wires to the minus and to the plus terminals. Got the two wires soldered on and I've screwed the connector back in. I have to repeat for the other two connectors. I've got the wire soldered on to all three locations and screwed back into their, their places. I've drilled holes for the wires and I have it on this edge here so that you can still mount it flat here and then flat on this side here. I've got the wires fed through the holes. Now I can shut up the box and screw it back together. Put the T T20 screws back in. I plugged it back in. I'm just testing to make sure before I do anything else that it still works to charge, which it seems to. So I'm stripping the negative wires and putting on ring connectors. I want to mount the blocking diode in this heat sink so I'm going to put two holes in it so I can mount two blocking diodes per heat sink. connected the plus batteries to the blocking diodes and then to a connecting strip and I've connected all the 
negative lines to a connector strip. Now we're at the point where we could hook one to three 40 volt batteries up and have 40 volts out. The cool thing with this approach is that you can take multiple charging stations and put them all in parallel so you can support a very large inverter. With three four amp hour 40 watt batteries, we should be able to provide about a thousand watts of power. I found three options that will run off uh, nominal 36 volt DC. There's the 300 watt pure sine wave inverter from Ryobi. I found a 600 watt pure sine wave and a 1500 watt pure sine wave. Which one you use depends on your application and your budget. For 13.8 volt DC applications, I'm using a DC to DC converter. It takes uh, nominal 36 volts. We'll put out 30 amps, so you can hook it up to at least two 10 amp cigarette lighter sockets. Make a whole range of different sockets and plugs for 12 volts. So this is my test setup. Something you could put down in the basement for emergency power. It's got three 4 amp hour 40 volt Ryobi batteries in this supercharger that's plugged in. So they'll all be being charged. And they go to a um, three blocking diodes, then into a, a termination strip that goes through a 60 amp fuse. And that goes over to a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. It also goes to a power switch that goes to a 30 amp, 13.8 volt DC converter that drives a cigarette light socket, and you could probably put three of those in. So my first test, I'm going to heat up some water in the microwave. It's about a 1400 watt microwave. And I've got it connected to a uh, kilowatt. So you can see right now it's taking uh, 54, uh, 5 watts. And then we'll see what it takes when I turn it on. So it's drawing 1315 watts. The next test is a 1500 watt heat gun. So when you turn the fan on, it's drawing 82 watts. And now it's drawing 1400 watts. 1422. So my last test is with the ISCO 3-in-1 core that runs off 12 volts. And you can see right now it's taking uh, 45 watts and it's down to uh, 5 degrees and it's running off the DC plug. So with the three 4 amp hour batteries, it should last at least uh, 12 hours. This example shows one configuration where you could use it as a house backup to run a freezer and a microwave for short periods. If you have a lot of 40 volt batteries, you could buy several of these chargers and then run either a larger inverter or run for a longer period of time. 
The only downside so far is I haven't figured out how to use an MPP solar charger with this. In a future project, I'm going to try to figure out how to package this with the small inverter and make it much more portable. Well, I hope this has been helpful. If it's useful, please hit like and subscribe, and have a great day.